All right, welcome to another episode of Down the Track. Uh, I have with me my co-host Abrar Aziz as usual. What's up, buddy? Good, good. How are you? I'm doing well. And uh, uh, our guest for today is Mr. Yusuf Ismail. How are you doing, sir? Doing well. Doing Thanks well. Thanks for having me. Uh, no problem. So let's cut to the chase. Today's episode will be talking about the 2001 India versus Australia series. Uh, the series which for indian fans it was like probably that landmark series where they started believing in the team and it was straight after the match fixing scandal uh, do you guys remember that series of course uh, and big, uh, big series for indian cricket I just like a kind of a milestone turnaround uh, series uh, in a lot of ways to beat that um, that powerful australian team was was uh, of course at, at at home ground but it was still very nice to uh, a confidence booster for for a team that uh, that uh, kind of changed things around for the for indian cricket for a long time after that i think yeah and i think uh, you should know this before that series uh, they were the indian teams to rely a lot on sachin right as soon as sachin's out the stadium is empty and the game is over but i think this series that's where they started believing that this is a team which can compete and even if tendulkar gets out they have players like lakshman dravid to, uh, come to the fore and uh, help the team in uh, difficult situations Yeah definitely growing up like I started watching cricket that I can remember 96 from 96 until this series basically if Tendulkar got out India had no chance they won very few matches when Tendulkar got out early and this was the first time where it didn't matter Tendulkar he did I think he hit a century in Chennai if in I'm not Chennai, mistaken yeah, yeah. yeah he he destroyed Shane Warne in that if I'm not mistaken but yeah. uh, He, it was the first time where it's like Tendulkar is gone. Okay, no problem. We have Lakshman, we have Dravid, Ganguly contributed. Uh, openers, I forgot who they were. Was it uh, uh, Wasim Jafar? Sadag Open Ramesh and Shivsundar Das. Yeah, baby. Hey, good to Sadag. You know, I was thinking, I was thinking about it. Shivsundar Das reminds me of Prithvi Shaw. Very similar. In the <laughs> What are you talking about, stru- man? Stru- stru- <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, I mean, not, yeah, not, in, not right. in the cricket way. Yeah, yeah. Not in the cricket way. Just the way his face looks. It's just like there's a similarity in the way they look. Not in the way they play cricket. There's a lot of a difference. Yeah, yeah. But in the way they, in the way they look, I just well, because I was looking at the highlights the other day and I was like. There's something about them. It's just trying to think who it was, and then suddenly came me. It's Prithvi Shaw all the way through. Like it was just like through that helmet. You were just looking like Prithvi Shaw, younger Prithvi Shaw, like you know. Yeah. That's just the thing. Yeah. And for me, like this, the first match of the series, Australia completely destroyed India, and we we're like, here we go again. You know, I think that that was the 16th win on uh, in a row for Australia. And it, uh, the second, uh, then the second test, they start dominating again. The uh, follow on, and then just everyone's world just changed. Uh, yeah. Did I, did you guys expect that that to happen like uh, that kind of partnership against that kind of Australian team? At the time, absolutely no. <laughs> I mean, completely, it was just crazy. And uh, I think uh, what helped them was Lakshman was very positive. Like uh, it wasn't that he was just blocking and trying to, to go for the draw. Uh, in that ma- in that Calcutta yeah. innings in the Eden at Eden Gardens that 281 he scored i think a lot of that innings he was just on the front foot uh playing his shots uh, and he destroyed Shane Warne i think that was a main factor in that match yeah and w- did he come in at number 6 in the f- that match or the first test match the first, in the first uh, the first test match and the first innings of that first test innings match of the, yeah and he scored a 50 and he, scored he, a 50, he yeah. kind of brought them close And then they suddenly promoted him to number three, and that was like the master stroke. Also, I think Ganguly's cap- uh, captaincy was a big factor in that. Yeah, promoting him I, yeah, I think that was a master stroke, uh, bringing him at number three, and he just that was just I was just watching it the other day. Uh, they had, the bowlers had no answer, and it was chanceless innings. Him and Dravid both didn't give any chances, and they just wore the Australian team down. Absolutely, you were like you a whole day of not having a wicket for that kind of a mighty Australian team. Just like Rahul Dravid and and uh, Lakshman were just added. Like the, you, I don't think it, I don't think they would have ever heard of a fact like with the with the kind of confidence that they were coming in and to not have a single wicket the whole day. I think it was day three or day four was it? It was day four, I think. That these these guys just went on and on and just continued to score the runs. That was something else. Like, um, I mean. And, uh, And to just say to carry on with a point that you made, it was literally the the mighty Australian team because at that point Australia had won nineteen the ninety nine World Cup, and they were they, no two thousand three they won but anyway they were still mighty because I think apart from Sri Lanka they won the ninety eighty seven World Cup as well so you can say in the last four World Cups they had won half even at that point, 
right? So they were definitely mighty. It was the peak. You had, you know, Shane Warne, you had McGraw. You, I think, uh, was it uh, Paul Rifle was in that series? No, uh, no. Jason Gillespie. Gillespie and uh, Kasparovich. Yeah. Yes, he's the one, Kasparovich. So it's like, it was the first time, I think, in my experience where I, we were literally underdogs. And India stood up and punched back very strongly. And you can argue that that was not the end of Australian cricket because obviously they won two more World Cups after that. But it was just to say that you're not alone. India has, is a force to reckon with in the cricketing world, especially in tests. And I think that domination of home tests started in at that time. Like India's like complete domination at home. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 100%. It started off with that, yeah. That was one of the series that would, there's a reckon, a force to reckon with. I mean, two new heroes also were born. I mean, we always knew that Lakshman had the talent, but uh, to see Baji kind of come in and uh, mm. perform perform the way he did, uh, especially in the second and third test, I think Chennai and Kolkata was, was something else. That yeah, he took just, over uh, 40 wickets, I think. In yeah, yeah, year. for sure, yeah. He did take a lot of wickets, and it's, it was just nice. It was just it was nice to see, like I mean, of course, India was known for their spinners, but to have a youngster come in and perform the way he did was was very heartwarming. Yeah, and the likes of Matthew Hayden, he was in really good form that series. I think he was he Absolutely. ended up as the leading mm-hmm. run scorer. He was scoring hundreds left, right, and center. But uh, Harbhajan, like uh, whenever he came on, he caused problems for even Hayden and for the rest of the middle order. And again, I think like we talked about in the 2005 series where Flintoff was giving problems to Gilchrist. This time Harbhajan was giving problems to the likes of Gilchrist and Ponting. And that's where I think the series, that was another major point in that series. Uh, because if you have the likes of Gilchrist coming in at that position and start scoring like 50s and 100s, I think Australia would have had the better I, they would have had the upper hand in that series as well. And it's a testament to India's bowling, which until that point, from like 96 until that point, it was historically weak. There were like, you know, you had Javagal Srinath, who was like one consistent performer. He took wickets. And Anil Kumble, but it never showed up as a complete unit, right? And even if someone had a solo performance, it didn't have the impact that Harbhajan Singh had. And that was kind of also the you know, pick off of Indian bowling, like, you know, having good groups of bowlers. Like, it led, like, 2003 World Cup, like, two years after that, you had, like, Zahir Khan, Ashish Nera, Anil Kumble. You had, like, a proper unit. So, like, that was the starting point for a lot of things in Indian cricket, like, modern Indian cricket, like, the next generation. Maybe not the current generation, but the generation before that, right? And to take out a lineup which had, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Hayden, Slater, Justin Langer at three, not even opening, Justin Langer at three, Ponting, Damien Martin, not sure who was at six, and uh, Steve Waugh, and uh, yeah, Steve I think was, uh, Steve, was six. Yeah, Steve was Waugh and six, Gilchrist. Yeah. That's insane. That's world class. Yeah, That's insane. And, we, and we saw that in the second think, test match. Uh, was Steve Waugh, uh, India could have had Australia all out like for 290, 300, and Steve Waugh came and scored a century, if I'm not mistaken. That and that's yep, why we had absolutely. to, uh, like, uh, Australia enforce the follow on, I think, because the second uh, they got India out cheaply after that. And uh, that's yeah. when everything changed. Yep, absolutely, and I think uh, uh, there was Mark Wag was in the in the lineup as well. Yeah, I he was there. I think, uh, yeah, it was he was, and yeah, I mean that's like like to to Yusuf's point, it was quite a uh, qu- quite a strong batting lineup, and and to cause those kind of problems, and and I think like uh, a lot of things changed after that, and I think a lot of credit has to go to Saurav Ganguly who who cr- completely changed the way uh, Indian cricket uh, kind of performed, kind of uh, went through with like. Went through the motions before. Back in the day, it was just like okay, before such an hour, the whole team was going out. But like this, this, this team was here to play, and a lot of that credit has to go to Saro Ganguly to turn a lot of things around for, for for Indian cricket. So one of my most favorite captains out there. Yeah, I think that call to get Lakshman at three, Lakshman was really happy about it. Even uh, I was reading his book. He said that um, I was not comfortable opening the batting. My my spot was number three. That's where he played for Hyderabad as well in the Ranchi Trophy. So. Um, to understand that he's in form and then put him in the position where he's comfortable, I think that was a risk because I think Dravid and Sachin already had a uh, made their mark in the team. Lakshman was still still didn't make that significant innings, right? So to back him at that stage, I think it was like uh, it was a really good move. It was a, it was a risky move, but it paid off at the end. Definitely, and absolutely. Just to, just to correct myself, uh, Damien Martin was not in the team. Ponting was batting at six. Ponting, Ricky Ponting, the most dominant number three arguably in history across all formats, maybe not T20, but ODI and Test, 
he was batting at number six. I think that's where that's ha- how I, I think that's where Harbhajan's uh, performance is even like should be rated even higher because he destroyed this middle order like Ponting, Gilchrist. Uh, he got these guys out consistently, and I think that's where the series kind of like of course the nothing to take away from the Lakshman Dravid partnership, but I think. Because Harbhajan was taking these wickets, even in the Chennai Test match, if you remember, in the first innings, Australia got off to a good start, but then he got a hat trick and uh, got them back, uh, got India back into the game. So I think Harbhajan's uh, performance was probably one of the most important ones in those series. Well, I just wanted to ask you guys about Lakshman, right? And uh, what makes him? Is it his back foot game, or is it uh, his short selection, or his wrist work? What does it? What makes him so effective against Australia? Whether it's in India or in Australia, but that the lineup of Magra, Gillespie, Shane Warne, he plays them with so much ease. Even like the likes of Ganguly, Tendulkar, Dravid, they play well, but they do get out. You can see this. Like sometimes they feel uncomfortable, but this guy just comes in and he just starts playing his shots. Oh, whoever. I think wants. Lakshman. I think Lakshman's biggest quality is is like similar to Sehwag, his hand-eye coordination. His feet movement was almost zero, but his wrists and eyes did the work. Like, he was Azaruddin Jr. in that sense. Like, if you see some of the way, the some of the balls that he faced to Shane Warne around the wicket, and he basically put his left front foot, like, just towards leg side and smothered it. And with his wrists, he just completely smothered it. And not just that, he hit it for four. So it's timing, hand-eye coordination, and just... I don't know, lazy, lazy elegance, right? <laughs> he played the ball late. He had good wrists and he had the good eye. And that's what it was. And he was confident. Like, I think later on in his career, you could tell that his footwork wasn't good enough with age because his eyes were slowing down. So he would, you know, he would put his bat, you know, outside off and get a, a caught behind. Or, you know, he would miss the, you know, the leg glance and stuff. But those were the peak of his powers. And I think he played innings in Australia before that where he scored 160-something. Yeah, yeah. Again, it was... It was an unbelievable. He was the only person playing in that entire innings. Tandulkar got out early and it was him with the tail. And that's another thing. Sorry, he, he was very good with the tail. Yeah, he was very good with it. And Don, um, that uh, I think Shane Warne mentioned it also previously. Uh, the fact that he could uh, whip through mid wicket, like you said, uh, and then uh, go back and then uh, square cut it. I think that caused uh, spinners like Shane Warne and even the other great spinners like that was the problem while bowling to him. And then with the equal ease, he would play the likes of Magra, Bretley, Casper, uh, which Gillespie. Absolutely. I mean, uh, I think uh, I think Yusuf uh, nailed it. He said with the the word that he used, lazy elegance. That's probably the best way to kind of describe uh, the likes of Lakshman because you play it so late and you have. He, he feels like he has a little bit more time. So like you know, he can he can whip it off his wrists and just go uh, on the leg side, or then they try and like go outside off stump, and then he can do the same thing with square cut and square cut him. He's just beautiful like like his hand eye coordination was incredible and uh, uh, the the likes of uh, magra and uh, and uh, Vaughn didn't have an answer uh, in that series and and that was just quite something special because uh, a quite quite rightly termed very very special lakshman so i mean beautiful yeah, and that innings was changed everything around. And uh, just a word on Rahul Dravid. We know how uh, important he's been for India throughout his career. The wall, uh, st- uh, standing there, wearing opposition bowlers, getting them tired, and then just capitalizing on that. How important was his role in this series and like to stand there with Lakshman? Because I think without Dravid, Lakshman wouldn't be able to reach that score, would he? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Rahul Ravid, uh, you guys know, is is my favorite Indian cricketer. But uh, I mean, I have words cannot explain the importance of 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 Rahul Ravid's inning over there because I mean, Lakshman takes all the credit and and rightly so. But Rahul Ravid's uh, persistence to continue along with him uh, at, the, at that and and continue to score and chip in the, with those runs was 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 very very uh, huge and. Um, and I mean, we we all know what Rahul Dravid does, and I think that kind of after that series, I think he, he, his name was uh, the world kind of really enforced um, uh, itself, and and he continued to perform. And uh, the thing he got kicked out of the Indian team, he came back, he played one T twenty, and he said, okay, you go, you know what, guys, I'm I'm out of here now. And he went out on his terms, and that's something that I really respect about Rahul Dravid. I think uh, the the combination of Lakshman and Dravid was key because Dravid was the defensive end of things. He blunted the attack. He wore them down, which gave Lakshman the opportunity to just you know attack when he wanted to. It's not that it was a blistering innings per se. It wasn't like a run ball innings, but 
you know, it was the perfect combination of, you know, defense and attack. And as, and as corny and as uh, as a meme, it sounds like, oh, you need attack and defense to win. It's This was like the epitome of that in place. That it was just one end was block, block, block. Other end was like a few foundries here and there. I don't think there was too much rotation of the strike. It was just a batting masterclass. And Dravid wasn't my favorite going up. I was a Tendulkar fan. But you can never disrespect the Dravid. He never let the team down anyway. You can argue he was slow at some times, but then in other innings, like in a one-day match, I remember uh, against England or New I'm Zealand, not sure who it was. New Zealand. Was, New Zealand. Yeah. He hit 50 of like 18 or 19, 20 balls or something like that. It's like whacking it left, right, and center. Last three overs, he came in 47th over. He destroyed them. So and so, Dravid was the complete player. So, yeah, and then he yeah. he took up wicket keeping to for the balance of the team as well, and that was probably very important. And I think the fact that he played with Lakshman in South Zone, I think that also helped because uh, once from Bangalore, once from Hyderabad, they probably played with each other uh, uh, for uh, they did play with each other for the South Zone, and that I think helped. Uh, and you could see that chemistry for the Indian team as well, whether it was playing in that 2001 series or even when they went in 2003 to Australia. Yep. Absolutely. I mean. Both, both, both very favorite players of mine. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, th- th- there is um, not a lot left to say. I think we've, we've covered a lot about how, how great the innings was and how uh, quite amazing. I mean, like it brings back, it brings back goosebumps. Like I was thinking, thinking about all those series that we continue to watch, but I mean, beautiful. Yeah. And when uh, was the ne- yeah sorry. sorry, go ahead. No, no. No, I was saying, well, when, when was the next series between India and Australia, 2005? Was it? Three, no, in India. Oh, in India, yeah, 2005. I think, so. I think four did or we five. Sweep it? Did we sweep it again? 3-0? Was it 3-0 sweep? Or no? No, I think I think there was a draw in there. Uh, there was a draw. But we won I the think series. there was a draw. But we won the series, I think. At home, I think we did win the series. Yeah. This was before their Ashes, though. So, um... I want to say end of 2004, I think it was, not even 2005. I but I mean, it, we can, we can. Yeah, yeah. We'll, I'll go back to that, but I'm not sure. I don't really remember. But just to uh, uh, wrap things off, like one more point I wanted to make was about that Australian team. Uh, we all three of us know that the, in that era, how tough it was to beat that team, right? And even in that series, if you notice the Chennai uh, Test match, the last innings, India won just by two wickets, right? Chasing 150 odd. Uh, yeah. After a good start by Sadagopan Romesh, the genius, uh, but they still they started losing wickets. Even Lakshman got out, I think, and um, Australia are right in the game. So how tough was it to beat that Australian team from ninety nine to two thousand and two thousand and seven eight? I mean, we've discussed this in our last part in, yeah. when we discussed the Ashes, and and uh, like Yusuf also said in the beginning, they were the the team, the only team, like it was Australia, and then it was everybody else. Yeah. Like because they, even they when you, when you con- they even, have sorry, but I'm, I was saying even if you, yeah. Sorry, go ahead, go ahead. I think I, I think kind of no. I just said they was they were just uh, just brutal. Like they were they were dominant like no other. So, and that's why, like we said, uh, it was just it was just so much sweeter to have that kind of victory against them after. After losing the first game and then coming back and and kind of creating such such a such a memorable victory was something else. So yeah, yeah. absolutely, this strong powerhouse defeated. So and to add to your point, they actually won that 2004-5 series. It was September 2004. They won 2-1. So it's again a testament to the fact that yeah, we knocked them out once crazily, but they came back and then England knocked them out and they came back. So it's like until 2007, 8, 9, I guess they were. Insane. And they always had someone in the... I think uh, one thing that you would characterize their cricket is they never... Ha- even though they had superstars, they didn't... If they didn't perform, they were out. Australia was a purely merit-based team, and that's what added to their longevity. If someone wasn't working, gone. I remember Nathan Bracken took... Uh, like a, He was taking a lot of wickets in one series. He was man of the series or something like that in a series in Australia, and then he disappeared. Because they felt okay overall, his he wasn't performing. It's like they they weren't afraid to take people out who seemed to be in form. Whereas if someone like you know an Indian or Pakistani or Desi cricket, if someone is doing well, they'll be bad for 20 matches after that, and then just because they score that 100, they get another 20 match lease on life. Whereas Australia was like, if you're not cutting it, you're out. They weren't afraid to replace people. 
and i yeah. think when they play come on the field they just look l- less emotional compared to other teams i they just they have this ruthless mentality they don't give a crap what's going on they want to win the game they they'll uh, even like you said uh, when they select their team they don't look at like any sentimental issues they just pick the right team for the right day and they go with it uh, and there's no fussing about they've had like major injuries in the ashes they had uh, magra uh, got injured but they still went and they, they fought like it's not like they gave up and even against india some of their players weren't in form they still came out there and uh, took it till the last ball uh, in that series as well yeah absolutely like uh, yeah uh, this this was some other like another a beautiful team i mean they they had three world cups in a row like you know they were they won the 99 they won 2003 and the 2007 world cup and um, and then india won the 11 after that but um, yeah the, the, these were a strong bunch of players like i mean uh, if if you do if you do like a uh, I, i think every every analyst will have at least three or four australians in their uh, in their world 11 or whatever so, and and three or four of them will be amongst this team that that played in that 2001 through 2007 kind of phase so yeah these were these were legends of the game and um, that's why it just makes that uh, victory a lot more sweeter you know like just to be like you know kind of show that okay you know you guys are great but um, but we're we're not far behind so that was nice to see yeah and just a quick uh, round off uh, Uh, I'll go with I'll ask you both uh, who was your Australia player of the series for that series the 2001 series Let's go Yusuf Hayden this cuz he scored the most even on Indian pitches he still managed to score hundreds Yeah and uh, I think uh, I think yeah him, either either Hayden or Steve Waugh because uh, Steve Waugh kind of uh, had that uh, uh, century also and but I think I think if I have to choose then I think Hayden because of the pure class of the man and he did score those runs also because uh, when they needed it also in the first game and and even a little bit in the second game too so hayden yeah yeah uh, i'll go a bit different even though i think hayden was the best player but for me it was gelespi because whenever india was going oh. away with it he came and just started taking wickets in the middle yeah. you know every match even in the uh, eden gardens match or even the chennai match both matches india won whenever like, we thought like it'd be a comfortable lead or whatever he would come and pick up like 3 4 wickets and that just testament to that team and his bowling i think he b- used the old ball really well and was reversing it quite a bit yeah that irritated me so i think he was the uh, actually player. that's a, that's a very that's a very very good uh, pick i mean i i think uh, it opened my eyes up to thinking about him too but yeah very very good pick there yeah i mean the both uh, even hayden was amazing and uh, this is a bit tougher india indian player of the series I can't pick man. <laughs> I have to give it to two people. <laughs> I mean, we're not counting uh, the legend Sar- Saragopan Ramesh, right? No, yeah, no, apart no, from no. him everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he gave he, he did give good starts man. Joke, uh, jokes aside, like they 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 had yeah. but no, yeah. No, I, but yeah, compared to other tests, I know what you're saying, but yeah. Yeah, I just I'm smashing. But Are what about that guy man, the wicketkeeper in the uh, last test match? The pick between What's Who was name? it? Uh, who replaced Nahim Mungia? Nahim Mungia got injured. Remember Nahim Gardens? Yeah, Rahul Ravid. No, yeah, he. No, no, Ra- no, no. Rahul kept Rahul in Rahul that. Rahul replaced. He yeah, replaced him keeping. in that test, but in the next test, who was keeping? Is another guy, man. Wait, wait, I have to find this. Hold on, I'm going to look for this one. This Samir, dig it. Dig it. It was some random fellow. One sec. Bro, he scored. Uh, he was in the partnership also in the Chennai test in the end. Some funny guy, man. I I don't know what you're talking about. I don't remember his name. Wait. Is it Samir Tigger? No, not Samir Tigger. Achiratra no. I forgot his name, man. It he was Achiratra? I don't think so. Uh, Rahul Dravid uh, was the I, think I saw it too. Kept in the second, second in, in the second test, test he yeah. kept the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aha. Hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on. This is we have to get <laughs> my train is going wild. Bro. Don Wiley oh, Don Wiley is checking that. I wanted to also uh, I don't know if you noticed if you watched that series again. Did you notice how uh, how many catches were taken in uh, on silly point and short leg? Oh yeah 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 it was there was a, there was fair amount right because of the spinners because Bajji was Bajji was spinning it and uh... Yeah because I was noticing something even now like when this uh, turning tracks Ashwin and stuff they normally get LBWs or bolts or yeah, caught yeah, behind yeah, yeah. but yeah. like that series everything was like around the bat Yeah 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 In the in the third test it was uh, the keeper was SS Dig Dige Dige Yeah Dige. Samir Dige I told you Samir that's Dige. Yeah, yeah, Samir yeah. Dige Dige yeah. Yeah, yeah And you know who was batting after him Saurabh uh, Saurabh uh, Bhatule Bhatule Bhatule, Bhatule yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean wow <laughs> We went with that guy Sahraj Bhatule <laughs> <laughs> Yeah He also 
we also didn't have kumble i think right we no, had that, we were playing with there's no kumble the record, raju Yeah, no, Raju. Yeah, yeah we were playing with Raju. That's why he's a left arm spinner. Yeah, that's yeah. why Bhaji's performance was even more uh, on the yeah. uh, like in the limelight because Kumble wasn't playing. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah who do you go with? Don? This, I mean, you could pick anybody, man. Even uh, Samir Dikhe. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like jokes aside, I think I think it's very hard to pick between Lakshman and Bhaji in that series. But for me, just because it was Bhaji's first season, first he was it was his debut series, and he was like this youngster coming out of. Uh, uh not really heard of him so i think i'll give it to bhaji only because of that yeah i think that's fair and you, you... i'll give it to uh, i'll just give it to lakshman just because if lakshman hadn't batted bhaji wouldn't have had a chance to bowl so just just that to is, me, that it, is absolutely true uh, it's a simple true. fact of you took bhaji i'll take lakshman you, they both have to be said so yeah, <laughs> yeah for me it's lakshman have, yeah i think we give it to be fair yeah for me it's lakshman like i would give it to both of them but lakshman because that 281 will uh, always be remembered and without that 281 india wouldn't have won the series Uh, or won that match, uh, and it was just unbelievable batting against the best attack in the world. So for me, it's absolutely, uh, absolutely, it's think, nothing to take away from Bhaji or anybody else. But uh, I think, uh, and everyone contributed, whether whether it was S S Das, Ramesh, Tendulkar, everybody contributed, Ganguly yeah. contributed, everyone contributed. But I think for me, I don't even remember who the fast bowlers were in that series. But uh, Zach, it was just Zach, 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 Zach and Venkatesh Prasad, Prasad. Yeah. Zach and. Yeah, that's it. Like, I mean, Arbajan kept taking the wickets, but, but yeah, but I think um, we've uh, probably covered most of that series, and uh, it was great uh, rewinding back. And hopefully, in the next few episodes, we'll look at other uh, moments in the past and talk about that. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Any last comments? Let me know. But otherwise, we, I'll see you next week. Thanks Both, I think. Uh, thanks for having us. Yep. All right, man. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.